Hey y'all, it's my first day at my big girl job. Hey y'all, it's your girl Jessica. And as you can tell from the title in the beginning of this video, your girl's finally made it to corporate America. I am actually working from home in an HR specialist job for a corporate company and I am loving it. The pay is great. Um, I'm about to be on day three, and so far I, have, I can't find one flaw. Um, it is very well, the training goes going very well. Um, here you see me, I'm still trying to stick to that morning routine. You guys see me build. Uh, I actually switched up the yoga content I'm watching. I, this is a black yoga teacher on YouTube. She has a seven-day chakra challenge, and I like I love to use her sometimes. I've decided that I'm going to use her videos for a couple of weeks because they're shorter, um, they're like never no longer than nine minutes. Um, they're shorter and every day I get to work on a different chakra and just tune in with that chakra for the day. This was Wednesday, so on this day I'm work I'm tuning in with my solar plexus chakra and working on that. Um yeah, that was me giving up because I couldn't get my legs up. That was, I was tired. And yeah, I know I'm ashy. I don't care. I didn't go nowhere the day before, so I didn't put no lotion on. I was just fucking ashy and I didn't care. I still don't care. And so here we go. Here I am doing some of the poses. Try, I'll get better. I'm going to get better. I mean, this is only day eight. This was only, this day was only day eight of me keeping to a morning routine. I think it's the longest I've ever kept to a morning routine in the last few years. I have not been able to stick to a morning routine. So I have been sticking to my yoga, my five minute exercise, and my morning walk. You're going to see all that this morning. This was me just laying there. That was part of it. We were just laying there with our hands up, tuning in. And then, you know, I had to put on my girl, my five minute workout. Um, I love this workout. It gives me a little um in the morning. I get to move my body, my whole body, my legs, my arms, work out my body, feel a little bit of burn, but it's not too much. I'm not overexerting myself just starting out. Um, I think next week I'm going to actually try to add a butt exercise to this. Um, nothing drastic. It's going to have to be a 10 minute one. I do have two of them on my morning routine video. One is a couch one. I kind of like that one. And then the other one is like build a butt in two weeks. I don't know. That one's a little bit harder. So I'll probably stick to the couch one for a while where I use my couch as support. I liked that one because I'm going to build this butt, lose this gut. And it's going to be a hot girl. 35. I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm going to be a hot girl. Body going to be banging by the end of 2022. Okay. Because I'm not going to give up till I get to where I want to be. So, yeah, I'm working them hips. Look at me work them hips. Look at me working them, working them. Yeah, loosening up my body, doing my little side bend. With my little ashy legs and feet. It's okay. It is okay. And remember when I couldn't even kick? Now I can kick high. I'm proud. And then I had to go do my morning walk on that trail. Um, Jamiri is not with me, so it was just me. I've gotten it down to like 25, 30 minutes to actually walk that whole path, which is a mile. And I'm getting a little bit faster. I'm even thinking about adding a afternoon walk to it. But, um, next week in my hometown, there's going to be warm weather. Not warm, it's supposed to be a heat advisory. So, I'll probably just stick to the mornings next week too. And then after that, try to add afternoons and do evening routines. So yeah, I just walked the path looking for turtles because I told my girl I seen the turtle the first day and I haven't seen one since. So I just been looking for turtles, enjoying my walk, watching the cardinals because there's always cardinals when I go walking. They're everywhere out there. Then I came home and I'm going to get in the shower because I was sweaty and hot. And I did all of this right now. It's like 730 in the morning when I'm doing this. I woke up at like 615 on this day. And um, I told y'all before, I don't care how you feel about honey pot. My pot is made out of honey. It's tatted on my leg. I'm going to use it. 
And then um, after I got out the shower, I turned on my music to get my morning started. I have a healing playlist on Spotify that I listen to to give me good vibes. It's got everything. You might hear a little rap. You might hear Kirk Franklin. You might hear some affirmations, some lettuce Like, it's going to play whatever, but it's all positive music. One minute I could be listening to Small by Kirk Franklin, and then I'm going to be listening to Don Chip with your little fine ass. No telling. And then after that, it's going to be some lettuce pieces of me. Like, that playlist bangs. Loves it. Um, So, yeah, I'm just doing my morning face wash routine. And I love, I'm just trying to get my skin back. I'm trying to build this routine up so far. I've been sticking to it every day. I do the same thing in the morning. And I'm loving it. I'm feeling better. So before I knew that they did, wasn't going to make me turn on my camera for the training, I decided I was going to do some light makeup just to look like I was alive this day. So I used my brow gel and put on some mascara. That was it. That's all. I just wanted to look alive that day. So I... Then I found out I didn't even have to have my camera on. So then I was like, why did I put this makeup on? Why? And I'm just, and then I brushed my teeth. All right, when I, I had already gotten dressed, put on my, and brushed my teeth. Um, and then just took off my sleep cap, fi fixed my hair up. Like once, like I said, did not know that I was not going to be on camera. So I really got cute for this. I put on me some little goat earrings, my J necklace for my name, obviously. I did my hair, made sure I looked presentable, had to retwist because these new rubber bands are trash. Or maybe I just shouldn't buy them at the fucking dollar store because they keep breaking. So yeah, I just went back in there, redouble twisted them. And like I said, threw on some jewelry and I'm ready. Now it's time to see the outfit I chose. I had to go put on my glasses because they're blue. And that's what I chose. A romper and my um, cardigan sweater and my fuzzy house shoes because, I mean, I'm at home. So I decided to be comfortable. And then this is me after we had just introduced ourselves. We're just going over the systems and she's talking. And I'm just trying to pay attention. Y'all, I love this job. I'm going to be... It's going to be so easy and so simple. And we were just getting to know each other. I'm just going over the stuff that we're going to be doing every day, which what I'll be doing every day is uh, more on the recruiting side, but I don't actually do no interviews or anything, but I do help with the interviewing. Um, so there's that. And yeah, I was just sitting there. She was talking. And this is actually... Um, like I said, I work from home position and a uh, little backstory on how I got this job. I was literally about to drop out of college. I'm nine classes away and I was like, I cannot find a job. And I was in our group Facebook group on Facebook for our school. And this lady was like, hey, my job is hiring. Can I inbox you? And I inboxed her and I interviewed for a position and they were like, you're not qualified. But we do have another position coming up that we think you're qualified for. Would you like it? And I'm like, yeah. And then she was like, okay, we're going to call you again and do an interview for that position. And y'all, when I say it, I got the job that I wanted, I got the job that I wanted. Um, I actually made a Snapchat the same day about how I wrote it in my journal. And I actually have the journal writing of me asking for a job, making good money. So... Yeah, I'm just enjoying it. It's really easy. So I'll see you guys later.